G'day legends, welcome to a shed vlog from Inspired to Explore. So not all the time we're out exploring unfortunately, so this one is going to be probably a little small little build series, um, just a couple episodes from in the shed, just fitting a few new parts out. So as you can see behind me, I've got a brand new canopy, new setup for the ute, so we can take off a small little work setup. When we're ready for going on a big trip, we can just take that one off, um, it's got lift points as well, unbolt it, take it off from the back of the ute roll this one around on castle wheels in the shed, swap them over. By the time you see this video here, what you're watching currently, I've already fitted a few new parts of the ute. So obviously, if you followed us on Instagram, we've got a new van. So we've got the camper trailer is up for sale at the moment and we bought a MDC little 12 foot hybrid van. So I've fitted some MSA mirrors on the ute because we needed a bit more width for that. We've got some Ironman underbody protection. What else we got? We've got a diesel heater we've fitted in the van. Uh, onboard air compressor, so I've made use of one of the under tray toolboxes at the back and mounted a permanent air compressor because um, we've also got air lockers in the ute now as well, which is so sick. The canopy will be a whole new build series on its own, so I'll show you from now. We'll jump right into getting a few things fitted and we'll get to the canopy after. Cheers. Alrighty, let's get them unboxed. Let's see what's going on in here. So, did actually pop this one open the other day. Right, left and right. There they are. I reckon they're gonna look pretty schmicko. Let's get these old ones off. Yeah, get into it. I'm just gonna remove a few little panels in here. So I think this top one, oh, that was easy. Uh, just a little pin on there. Now, what do we got? We've got a couple of bolts. So we try and prise this off. That's got all the controls. All right, I might have to put this camera down and prise that off a bit carefully. So this is proving a little bit more difficult than I thought. This panel, can't see how it comes off. And I don't really know that much about it. So if I'm popping, I'm gonna try and leave it on there. I can flex it out just enough. Get the plug undone. And then the trick is gonna be, can I get these out without dropping them down in the door cavity? So if we do that, we might be in a bit of strife. The back this top one off, the mirror is loose. Oh, wow, I wonder if that wind deflector might get in the way, but we'll have a look at that in a sec. And that, that, my friends, I can't get off. Hey, wind deflectors in the way. Please don't break. Get off. Woo! One down. Rightio, so I just got them laid out on the ground here. They're not really any wider. Definitely probably a little bit higher. Flip them over and see the mirror. All right, so the mirror is definitely higher, but overall width, they're gonna look pretty factory, I reckon. It's gonna be wicked, because I did, really didn't want them to stick too far out. If I actually stick out here, I'm gonna sneak the neighbor's shed. He's got some clear views on. I don't think you can see that, but they stick a bloody long way out. So I think these are gonna look sick. Let's get one on. Back on. Get this. And you can't see from where you are, but there is a couple little pins that aren't lining up because the wind deflect is in the way. But, oh, we're on. Woo! Hang on a minute. This is different. The new mirrors come with studs. I took little bolts out. Yeah. Uh, we might need to do some investigating here. Just to... One on, one off. Yeah, hold the mirror in place. Easier if you use another person. Yeah, hold the mirror in the original bolt hole. Seems three M6 washers and nylock not supplied. Ah. <laughs> That's why you read the instructions first. <laughs> All right, we got one on, panels are back on. A couple of different little wiring harnesses, depending on which model you get. That one didn't work, so keep the one that's on it. I reckon they look all right. 
don't stick out too far. So you've got a few different options. You can flip it 90 degrees, then pull it. Second section out as well, super wide, or just leave it one stage. I think that's probably all we're gonna need. All right, let's go on the next one. Jolly Boys just started pulling some panels off for me. Step two, so we've got the compressor. Just want to try and mount this in the under tray box. Got one of these each side, so there's plenty of room in there. I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to be able to do it today or not, uh, but we'll get that on there, unpackage it. That's right, so Joel's yeah. already unboxed it, getting a bit ahead of it. Righto, um, so the compressor, I don't really have any parts for it. Um, there's a bit of all sorts going on. Um, it's going to work. We've decided that it'll fit perfectly right up in the back of the box. Then that way all air hose, um, packer blocks, everything can still fit in there. Um, but the cables and everything they've given us, I think it's normally they'd probably work on just being an under bonnet mount compressor. So nothing's ever gonna be long enough. Uh, after the little compressor debacle, we've moved on to some lights. So I've got these XTM, Wow, they Nebula 224s. Got them from BCF, I think they're only like 150, 160 bucks. But I've got these Adventure Kings ones. I've yeah. uh, got the laser ones. And I absolutely hate them with a passion. If anyone else has got them, you'll know they just leave the white laser dots in the middle of the road. And it drives you nuts. It's so distracting. So it should be a pretty simple uh, changeover, I think. I'm just going to cut the wires. The plugs are a little bit different, so I just might have to cut them, solder them, and Put them out together, so we'll get into that. <laughs> 